On behalf of the Justice Sunanda Bhandari Foundation and myself, I warmly welcome all of you to this 20th Memorial Lecture. Sunanda and I were good friends and had a special bond as women colleagues. I find it difficult to believe that she died 20 years ago. She was serious but fun-loving. I can still hear her laughter and feel her compassionate presence. She was a sitting judge of the Delhi High Court and just 52 when she passed away, too young and too vibrant to have died. The Justice Sunanda Bhandari Foundation was established in 1994 to perpetuate the memory of a woman who worked with zest to establish a just and egalitarian society where women and weaker sections could live with dignity. Sunanda believed in equality and she wanted that women should have the freedom to choose and the right to excel. This is now the motto of the foundation whose main aim is to empower women and ensure gender justice. We are gathered here to celebrate the legacy of an extraordinary person and a fine judge whose work and efforts to achieve gender justice continue to be hugely relevant and influential in contemporary India. The Justice Sunanda Bandari Memorial Lectures, now in its 20th year, have been a tremendous testament to the inspiring life and work of Justice Sunanda Bandari. Just as with today's lecture, the Managing Trustees of Justice Sunanda Bandari Foundation must be congratulated for facilitating lectures by many of the finest thinkers, scholars, activists, lawyers and judges in the region on issues that will define South Asia and India in the 21st century. The women's right movement of which Justice Sunanda Bandare was an integral part in India has fought and won some extremely important battles. The reforms in law on sexual violence, right from making the past sexual history of victims irrelevant to changes in definitions of rape and sexual assault, along with legal measures on sexual harassment, domestic violence, dowry deaths, reforms in inheritance laws, etc., are all examples of the important steps that we have taken as a country towards gender justice. But the battle for gender justice and social reform in this regard is far from over. Many challenges remain in terms of education of women, opportunities for women in our organized workforce, <coughs> nutrition and maternity health of women, issues of discrimination and exploitation. The excellent work of Justice Sunanda Bandare Foundation through initiatives like sex worker awareness programs, legal literacy, legal aid initiatives, measures to improve the health of women, etc. are all indicative of the directions in which we must move. Individuals like Justice Sunanda Bandare, through their uh, profound contribution to the discourse on justice, gender justice in our country, have changed the lived experience of millions of women, and it is our solemn duty to carry it forward that legacy. Thank you. The Justice Sunanda Bhandari Foundation bestows the Justice Sunanda Bhandari Award for 2014 to Ms. Ratna Rashi Pandey. I am happy to be here this evening to deliver the 20th Justice Sunanda Bhandari Memorial Lecture. Late Justice Sunanda Bhandari was a champion of women's rights. She distinguished herself equally by her professionalism and her concern for the underprivileged. Her untimely death at the age of 52 brought a sad end to a great and prosperous career. This memorial lecture, I understand, is organized annually in her memory and also to promote the goal of women's empowerment, which was close to her heart. I appreciate the motto of Justice Shunanda Bhandari's foundation. I quote, 
the freedom to choose the right to excel for every woman. Justice Vandali believed that women should be empowered to be the architects of their own destiny. I hope the members of the Foundation will continue to work towards realizing the ideals she stood for. <coughs> Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, in the 20th century, the two world wars saw the emergence of human rights campaign where all human beings are born free and equal in dignity. Based on the three pillars of equality, dignity and safety, there is increasingly a global focus on the empowerment of women. However, women continue to battle stereotypes and prejudices. Once George Bernard Shaw spoke, I quote, progress is impossible without change and those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything, unquote. We have to mitigate the pressures prejudices and inequitable systems which have prevailed for millennia against women. We are today living in a knowledge society where women have competed with men to show that they are equally gifted. Women have excelled in almost all professions, be it medicine, administration, teaching, banking, or management. We have seen how a knowledge-driven society is creating opportunity for women to excel, to rise in position of power, and overcome hurdles of becoming icons in the society. Swami Vivekananda once observed, and I quote, it is impossible to think about the welfare of the world unless the condition of the women is improved. It is impossible for a bird to fly only on one wing." Unquote. Women deserve to have power both within and outside their homes. <coughs> <coughs> Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the United Nations define women's empowerment as her sense of self-worth, her right to live and to determine choices, her right to have access to opportunities and resources, her right to have the power to control. To realize these worthy objectives, we need more change icons like late Justice Bhandari. We need to recognize women's extraordinary ability to influence the direction of the social change, to create a just socio-economic order. With these words, ladies and gentlemen, I conclude thanking the organizers for giving me this opportunity to share my perception with you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jai Hind.